Wonderful. So let's start. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to our second No Wallet demo. Let me start the presentation. And we will focus today on the following topics. Uh, I will remind you how you can follow up for the No Wallet news, like provide you links to our community. Then we're going to dive into the demo. So we're going to review our recent uh, updates for iOS and Android. And of course, uh, as promised, we going to enable Basilisk and Alter networks on the fly today, just like we did previously uh, last time, two weeks ago. Uh, we will also highlight the status of Google Play and uh, App Store publications, and as well as we will discuss the plans and roadmap for No Wallet. So let's get started. Here's a list of our official links. So you can always find uh, all the relevant links on the No Wallet website. Also, feel free to join our uh, Telegram community, uh, as well as um, dive into the announcement channel. And if you are from Russia or SNG, then feel free to join the Russian group, as well as follow us on Twitter, uh, join Element Group, and read us on Medium, as well as watch us on the YouTube. Right. OK, so let's discuss what we will have on the demo today. Basically, it will be a shorter demo comparing to the last one, <laughs> which was like an hour long. However, we still have an amazing stuff to demonstrate to you. So during the last two weeks, we basically provided several updates uh, and the major points uh, on the slides. So first of all, we provided a feature uh, for users to basically see all their contributions, including direct contributions made on the blockchain uh, using the Polkadot and uh, Kusama crowd on module, and as well as uh, Liquid Akala contribution and contribution to the Parallel, uh, using the Parallel platform, I'm sorry. Uh, and we will see how it looks like and why it's important um, slightly after. Second point here in our change log is basically, we have improved performance dramatically. So, uh, some of the users uh, have been experienced, uh, especially once that the landed application uh, from the Google Play, uh, the old one version, uh, they have experienced the slow working application because of the connection to multiple networks um, was taking too much time uh, on certain devices and certain Android operation systems. And now we found a way how to optimize that on all devices. And it seems that we achieved like up to 100 uh, times performance uh, this time. And as well, uh, we will show it on the demo uh, later on. We also decided to introduce the node of the balance. So if no wallet detects that certain blockchain node is not uh, responding quickly or not responding at all, we are switching the node uh, for this network so that the user's experience will not be interrupted in any way. Uh, also, we have provided some major improvements how to support new networks, which finally allow us to basically integrate, for example, Basilisk and Altair, because they are unique in a certain way. And of course, we provided several UI fixes and improvements. And I believe that on iOS, uh, users can already see the new design for settings screen, for example. But yeah, uh, that will also come on Android, um, just like um, in two weeks or less. Right, and then we are going to once again watch uh, the live process of enabling the networks, which will be today the Basilisk and Altair. Uh, we'll see how the, sorry. <laughs> we will see how the node handles this dynamically. And please note that since we provided this improvement for the new network support, on Android you need to use uh, the latest version, which is available currently only on GitHub. Uh, so that to see the Basilisk and Alter networks. Or you can wait uh, until we will uh, republish our application to the Google Play. Right, so let's start the demo. And first we're going to see like how we can view our contributions made uh, through the Liquid Akala or for example, Parallel platform. So here I have my Android uh, device with my Android uh, uh, wallets in Nova, right? I have this account, uh, which has made, uh, let's see how many, zero contributions on Polkadot and 13 contributions on Kusama. So let's see what I can um, see there. 
So on the Kusama, uh, since there is no liquid contribution to Karura or contributions made via Parl on this account, we can see only direct contributions, right? And this is how they are displayed. But now let's switch to the different account uh, and let's see the Polkadot contributions. Here we can see 11 contributions. And now on this screen, we can see not only direct contributions which were made uh, on the chain using the default crowd loan module, but also we can see the history which made uh, using the, for example, Akala Liquid contribution or for example, Parallel uh, web service, right? And users can see all of them in a single screen, which makes a uh, very unique experience for the user because um, those contributions are made for the two years period, right? And we need to understand and we need to remember to which crowdons we have made contributions. Um, and it seems that, uh, for example, parallel web application, lots of users have been contributing uh, through this one, right? Uh, that's why it's important and crucial for the user to see this information on the single screen so that they can verify the rewards which has been sending from the uh, parachains, for example, to the data, to um, which basically shows how many dots they contributed. So that's very important and <laughs> long-term feature because uh, crowd loans will be existing uh, like for the whole life cycle of the Polkadot, right? And it's very important for the user to see this information like to which parachain, how many dots uh, have been contributed, right? So that's really a nice feature which has been developed to the Android and uh, iOS application. Right, uh, any questions here? Uh, and I also have a question to, to our viewers. So uh, how many of you contributed using the Bifrost? Because we recently approached the Bifrost application similar to Parallel one. Uh, it's slightly different, but we are wondering um, how we should prioritize this uh, in order to enable also contribution uh, which made for the Bifrost uh, SLAP protocol. So that we will see the full picture here. Um, and also the next demo we will have of the performance improvement. So let's see, I have on my Android version. Uh, yeah, I see the chat, I didn't, but yeah, I, I saw in our community that several folks did. So we might um, as well implement this one so, so, so that to saturate this uh, completely. So I have here our development version of Nova with a cat icon, right? Uh, and I all, which is new and which contains this performance improvement, right? And I have this one, the Nova version, which is actually the version from the Google Play, which does not contain this performance improvement. And what I would like to show to you is basically the cold start or start from scratch of both applications and to see, like, uh, to compare with each other the performance improvements. So. Let's start the Google Play version so that we can uh, reproduce the performance issues which we had. So we're opening the app. And for example, we immediately go to the staking. Notice how long it takes for the Nova to load this information. And in some cases, it cannot even be loaded just because on previous screen, on the wallet screen, we are constructing different runtimes for different networks, which takes a lot of efforts for the app to do. And you can see that it probably took like something like 10 or 15 seconds, right? For the staking confirmation to load. And that's taking into account that it's pretty advanced operation system installed on this emulator and the emulator itself is pretty fast one. What was happening on the pretty much old device uh, of the users, it was taking much more time, like in some cases, like two or three minutes, right? So let's just see it one more time so that we can basically verify that it's reproducible. And then we will compare it with our uh, recent update, which provides this performance improvements. And basically you will see the difference, uh, how fast it's now loading for the Android users. Yeah, now it's loaded. I think it was something like 10 or 15 seconds one more time. So now let's turn the development version, which has this performance improvement uh, booted up and let's switch to the staking. I have here Polkadot network, but uh, you can see that how fast it was loaded and let's switch to the Kusama one. Once again, very fast. So 
once again, what was happening is that we optimized it how we construct all these runtimes for each single network here, right? So that it takes much uh, less time and uh, basically it's done in a uh, much optimized way so that the app can basically uh, perform the loading in other places. And you can notice that in all of the places in app now, yeah, it, it works much faster. So if you're using Android and if you want to speed up your app, I suggest to you to download the GitHub version while we're waiting for uh, Google Play apps to be available once again. So that's a very cool feature, uh, which we also delivered um, during last week. Now the node after balance, that's pretty much straightforward. If the node is not uh, reachable by the app, we'll try to switch to another publicly available node. And for the improvements of new network support, we will pretty much see how it works when we will add the Basilisk and Alter because Google Play version won't be able to fetch this information um, for the Basilisk and Alter. And only version from uh, GitHub will now uh, have the Basilisk and Alter, which is noted here as well. And also we will share the slides um, basically with the links for iOS and Android, but you can always find it uh, on our website. Right, before we dive into the adding the new network, are there any questions? And I will switch my devices for the iOS one uh, this time because uh, last time we have performed the demo completely on Android for adding new networks. And now I'm curious how it will look like on iOS device and probably the community is curious as well. So, Let's just quickly remind to ourselves how the process of adding uh, the new networks looks like. Basically, um, we are receiving the request from the community or basically by us that we need to add the certain new network to the no wallet, right? In this case, we need to update our uh, open source GitHub repository with this information just to add this network to our internal build. Once that's done, we are going to apply the integration tests. And then if those are passed, so we can see the balance, we can do the transfer, the address is displayed correctly, we are going to enable this network um, on the production version. So all these three steps were pretty much done for Basilisk and Altair. And now we need to just enable it for the production app, which is done by basically, uh, once again, applying changes to our open source repository. I have here uh, opened the pull request to our open source repo in which we can see that we basically adding the Basilisk network, right? We can see all the configurations here. And the next one is the Alter network, the same uh, format. And you can notice that the, our folks from No Wallet team also doing the verification. So just to make sure that uh, everything is correct. So the genesis hash of each network is correct and so on. All right, so what we need to do, we just need to merge this pull request to apply this change. Uh, let me approve it. And I guess uh, I can basically merge this pull request by myself now. Now let me switch to my uh, iOS device. It takes approximately five minutes for GitHub to update the information on its site. So we have pretty much this time to switch uh, for the iOS device. Right, so I have here, uh, once again, the development version, which is internal one, and the Nova Early Access version, which is distributed by the Firebase. So let's go here. So it seems that we don't have, uh, oh, we do, we actually do now. So if anyone has the iOS version from Firebase or Android version from GitHub, please check your applications. It seems that we, already have the Alter and Basilisk tokens uh, right into the application. So yeah, that was pretty fast. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know what to say, but basically we now can see the alter tokens if you have one. And we can see the Basilisk tokens. So for the Basilisk, I know that they have not yet uh, removed the pseudo keys, which means that they do not have any tokens distributed to the community yet. But I think that in pretty much short term, they will um, have these tokens that distributed. Um, yeah, it seems that the Alter and Basilisk is now available into the application. So congratulations, everyone. Yeah, and for the Alter team, um, we have communicated with them and basically uh, they say that they will enable transfers in one or four weeks from now on. So let's wait for their announcement for that. Also worth to mention here while we um, viewing the balance screen, basically the Calamari network has distributed the crowd loans reward. So you might uh, as well see that in a no wallet. However, yes, I see that the all tokens right now distributed from the crowd loan are locked. So yeah, we need to know the news from their team when the tokens will be transferable. All right, I think that's it for the adding the new network. Let me stop sharing of iOS device and return to the slides. All right. So I can see that we have some questions. Um, do you use the so I can be assured the Epica is not compromised? No, we don't have this setup yet, but I believe that, um, yeah, we will manage it because one of the plans is to publish on uh, the Android, which requires uh, SSDLC to be enabled. So yeah, we will work on that as well. Right, so are there any questions? If not, then let's proceed further. So the Google Play and App Store status. Uh, right, so let's start with the Google Play. We have submitted appeal uh, to the DMCA complaint. Um, and it's processing by the Google Play. We have provided all explanations about the open source state of the no wallet and fearless, and we have published it on the 7th of November. So we are waiting on Google to reply. The usual um, response time for such cases is seven working days, which is supposed to be today in the evening. So we will see if they will reply by the end of today. And if not, we will contact them again to see the status. We also planning to apply the user interface changes and uh, overall changes to the application uh, to basically eliminate a risk of such thing happening in the future, not only to the Google Play, but also to the App Store, because it takes a couple of days for Google to suspend the app temporarily, right? And weeks to process the appeal. So it seems that we can be attacked in such way, which we don't uh, want to do, to have. For the App Store version, we are planning to resubmit um, the iOS version because basically we need to apply these changes uh, to the reasoning, to the similar reasoning above, right? Because we don't want to publish the application to the App Store and then receive the complaint. And that's basically up to App Store uh, how they will dive into the use case because uh, in the details, uh, we cannot be removed because everything in the open source. However, that's a different story how the Google Play and App Store processing this request. And basically, yes, the whole situation implies the violation of open source practices. And if you're wondering like more information about this situation, you can follow uh, the link to read about uh, the whole story. Now the plans in the roadmap. So in terms of the roadmap, we remain pretty much the same comparing with the two weeks. So our first priority uh, for now for the Kusama treasury proposal remains to be a DApp browser and NFT support, as well as some general improvements, like it was mentioned to basically apply um, not only um, changes to the user interface, but also improvements to the certain parts of the application which we collected um, from our community based on their feedback. For example, we have plans how to improve the recommended validators algorithm, right? And there are many things which we would like to work on in this direction. 
And basically, generally, we have these um, plans for the markets. So we want to reinstate the Nova Android on Google Play. We want to publish the redesigned version of uh, iOS on the App Store. And for the Kusama Treasury proposal, uh, we would like to have it uh, in the early December, which will cover once again the Dia browser, the state wine and statement tokens, such as um, Remark token. We also would like to have our initial support for the NFTs in the ecosystem, which will most likely cover only displaying those uh, NFTs and maybe like transferring to the different accounts, but not buying and selling NFTs because uh, we have discussed with Remark team and it seems that it's better for us to wait a certain period of time until they will finish improvements on their side. And as I mentioned, we also planning to apply for staking and general user interface improvements. Now, we will also refine the roadmap uh, after our proposal to Kusama Treasury will be approved. So we will align our work uh, towards working on the Kusama Treasury proposal. And we also have um, some work which we committed uh, to certain parachains, for example, to Moonbeam. And we are also discussing uh, some unique features with other teams. And of course, we need to allocate certain uh, resources and the time to maintain new networks integration uh, because anything might happen, right? <laughs> and basically for general app maintains. And I believe that that's it. Oh, <laughs> all the time I had this slide with uh, pictures. Yeah, you can basically see um, how the dApps uh, page will look like in like, I think we'll release it something like in two weeks or, or even less, right? And in the future, once we will uh, get the proposal uh, approved from the Kusama treasury, we will work on a like saturated uh, dApps page with different dApps available to connect to and other settings like favorite dApps and all this stuff. Right, I believe that's it from our side. So are there any questions? And I believe that if there are no questions, then we can finish. So thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you next time in two weeks. And I was happy to present you our updates. And yeah, see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.